Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm gonna to do another book review and this is Letting Go. This is the Mitchell Family first book. This is the Mitchell Family series first book, I'm sorry. This is written by Jennifer Four. So this is what the cover looks like. I'm gonna give you information from goodreads.com and then we'll go from there. And don't worry, I'm not gonna do any spoilers. So I'll try my best not to because um, I always wanna tiptoe around that. I don't wanna ruin anybody's um, journey in reading a book. I always hate that. That's why I'm, that's why I don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to start right now. Savannah Tate has loved the same guy since she was 14 years old. Now she and Tyler are in their second year of college while Savannah is concentrating on maintaining her high grade point average and academic scholarship. Tyler is busy partying with his frat brothers and screwing around on his girlfriend behind her back. Savannah decides they need a break just so she can focus and maybe change his mind about his priorities. One night at a party, Savannah catches Ty in the act and after a heated argument, she leaves. In fear of losing her forever, Tyler steals a car and proceeds to follow her even after he had too much to drink. He loses control of the vehicle and from the injuries of the accident, he goes into a coma. Everyone blames Savannah for Ty's accident. She loses her friends, his family disowns her, she stops being around people and spends most of her time at the hospital waiting for Ty to wake up so that they can start over and have the future she always wanted. Then his cousin Colt comes back to town to help with the Mitchell family's farm. The chemistry between them is electric, but is Savannah willing to let go of Ty to explore her feelings for Colt? Oh my gosh. Okay, genres, <laughs> romance, new adult, contemporary, contemporary romance. Okay, this was first published back in September 4, 2012. Okay, um, so this was the first book that I ever read from Jennifer Four. <clears throat> Just so you know. <laughs> um, I don't remember, okay, I'm on goodreads.com as I've said, and I'm going to try and see which book I read prior to this that recommended me this book. Okay, recommended me was Finding Chase, the Chasing Nikki series, that's the second book. Um, if you're interested in that review, um, it should be down below, link below. If not, one of the one of the playlists should be down there to, um, so you can see that review as well, or just, you know, type in YouTube, Natasha Harper, um, Finding Chase, that should pop up. Okay, so that was the book that that um, recommended this book, and I really, really enjoy this book, or enjoyed, still do, um, enjoyed this book way, 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 way more than um, Chasing Nikki. So, without um, any, I'm gonna try really hard not to have any spoilers. I'm gonna go based on the 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 synopsis and the summary and the, the info I get from Goodreads. It also says contains sexual situations. I'm just gonna let you guys know just because um, you never know who picks up this book and some people might not be interested in that. Maybe their age, their just preference in um, whatever they're reading. So I don't mind. But um, so anyway, from what I can gather just from this so that I can, I can't or I won't, I, or I won't do any spoilers. Um, so Savannah and Ty, they, they grew up together and they've known each other since they were children. They've been together since they were in middle school. Um, they're now in college and it just kind of feels like Savannah's going the same path that she always have and Ty is more like, this is a different life. I want to explore this. My life is really gearing towards some a, something a little bit more different than what um, what I thought it would be, something like that. Um, so at a certain point, and it's really, really early in the book, Savannah sees Ty, Tyler, and um, the actual act, it wasn't like, someone just whispered in your ear, oh yeah, Ty is, you know, cheating on you or something like that. Sees it with her own eyes, just takes off, angry, upset, you know, all that stuff. And T 
Ty or Tyler takes off, tries to follow her, tries to talk himself into back into good graces and he gets in an accident because he was he was being irresponsible. He was drinking and not really thinking straight, which I don't recommend that. Um, I'm very, very, very against drinking and driving. So anyway, that happens. He's in a coma. I, that part I really don't understand why everybody blames her. She wasn't the one fooling around behind his back. She wasn't the one drinking and driving. She wasn't the one being irresponsible. She was, like they make it seem like it's her fault because he made another bad decision that put him in the hospital. Like, I don't really get that. I feel like all these people that have mistreated her and reacted in this certain way, I feel like they're just gross. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say anything else because I, you know, they're, they're who they are and they're being classless and snippy and just plainly out of, I think out of line. Um, so that part doesn't, I mean, it, it does explain their background a little bit. And then Cole comes over to help with the farm because they, they live in a farm and, um, Tyler is the only child, so they need a little bit of help. So Colton comes over. He is, um, from Kentucky just to help out with the farm and hangs out with Savannah a little bit and that 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 I really enjoyed this um the sexual content in this book and the series can be very graphic so just so you know if you're kind of iffy in those kind of things and or maybe you're not really into that just so you know it's there um and it's not really like scary graphic I know like some people some people might not be into that and they might think it's scary. It's really not. And it's not like the majority of the book. It's like, it's there at the right moment. And I think it's written really well into the story. Um, one out of 10 stars, I would give this a eight. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I love the series. I love Savannah and Colt. Um, so, you know, watch out for my other reviews in this series, my, the other books. If you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, especially something similar to this, not, not Jennifer Four books because I know who she is now and I have most, if not all of her books, um, please do that down below so I can read those books, pick them up, buy them, whatever. And um, if you guys have any questions, you want to chit chat about this book, feel free to hit down below as well. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and I give this a two thumbs up. This is a pretty steamy book. Um, I can guarantee it's very enjoyable. It has drama. The drama is high in the series. I feel like in this particular series with Jennifer Four, um, I can guarantee this high drama, crazy drama. And, um, someone mentioned, um, in one of the reviews that if you are from that area in the country, like Kentucky and, um, in one of the Carolinas, it does kind of, it does really show the, the temperament and the culture over there. So, you know, I like that, the authenticity part. I like that. And, um, the journey in this book was very, very enjoyable. <laughs> It will not, you will not be disappointed. I was not disappointed and I read every single book in the series. Um, so thank you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.